hey, hey, hey. It's Shell Anderson from Stamp with Shell and Shell's Creative Corner. I'd like to welcome you to Stamp with Shell tonight. I'm so very glad you could join me. Oh, we have some feedback. Just bear with me a second. There we go. That's better. I'm sorry. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Shelly Anderson and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I blog at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com and I can be found on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest under Stamp with Shell. My email address is andersonshell at gmail.com and you can meet, reach me there anytime. All right, so on to tonight's cards. I have a new stamp set that I am going to be playing with tonight called Candy Canes. And it is a big, beautiful background stamp full of candy canes. So that one's going to be fun. And I have another new stamp set called Holly Jolly Wishes. Um, this one is just an all around great Christmas one. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Be of good cheer. Tis the season to be jolly. Merry Christmas to you. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Fa la 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 la. And jingle all the way. So those are the goodies we're going to be using along with the layering oval dies tonight. So we're going to be making two cards and we're going to be making them two totally different ways. So the first piece of cardstock that I have here is Whisper White. Or, I keep saying Whisper White. I wish I would stop that. <laughs> it's not Whisper White. It's Basic White. Do you ever do that? Like you're so used to calling something one thing that it's hard to... Change is hard, people. Change is hard. All right, I have a little wee bit of um, temporary adhesive here. And I am going to just pop that down. And hopefully I've got this lined up. And I do. Look at that. Wonderful. So I'm going to be bringing in a real red ink pad. And I am going to ink this stamp up. And we are going to basically make a piece of DSP is basically what this is going to amount to. Just give that ink a minute to transfer. And because this is such a big stamp, I imagine, yeah, we're going to have to stamp it more than once. Check that out. Very pretty. Actually, there's a little spot right there. There we go. The beauty of the Stamparatus. Isn't that pretty? All right, so we have that one done. Now I'm going to close up that ink pad before I have ink everywhere and put it away. And then we're going to clean this. Um, stamp because we're going to switch gears and switch colors. So we're kind of basically doing two cards at the same time, but they're going to be very different, although they're going to be similar. And we'll see what we're going to do this time trying to get all the traces of red off there. This time we are going to use real red cardstock. And this one's a little slight bit smaller so I know by the shadows on the page here where I can place this. Put some temporary adhesive in here and we will be good to go. That will hold it in place. All right, I'm going to bring in my embossing buddy. 
and we are going to rub this all over to remove static and make sure that our <clears throat> oh it's a stretch I should have got this down earlier um, make sure that our ink only sticks where we want it to or not our ink our embossing powder so I am going all over this stamp with Versamark clear ink and we will give this a whirl and once again we're going to have to stamp it more than once it's feeling like this ink pad could use some more ink There we go. All right, I am going to pull this off carefully and I'm also going to take this little piece of scratch paper and hopefully it will catch my embossing powder. Put that over there out of the way and we'll bring in our embossing powder. done any embossing in a little bit. So now I'm just going to generously cover this because we can put what we don't use back into the container. And we want to make sure we get all our candy canes covered. Like so. Just clip that little spoon back in the lid and check that out. All right, I'm going to quickly grab my tweezers and clamp onto this. And then I'm going to put this back in my container and put the lid on before I have a disaster on my hands. I remember one time I forgot to put the lid on and I had embossing powder everywhere when I turned on my heat gun. Not very smart. All right, now let's, speaking of heat guns, let's find one. <laughs> I've got several hanging on the wall behind me here. in and make some noise. All right, let's get this warmed up. While that's warming up, I'm just going to give this a little flick. go. See how when that melts it turns a nice bright shiny white? I don't know whether the camera's picking this up or not but I'll bring it up close to the camera so you can see. It goes from like a dull color to a nice bright shiny white. 
And we need to make sure that we get all areas completely melted because if you don't, it'll just brush off your card. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Love the shiny sparkle. All right, I'm gonna move this hot embossing tool over here and let it cool while we complete our cards. Okay, so this first one is gonna be pretty simple. I am have a standard card base. And I just realized that I do not have a liner for it yet. So I am going to cut one right now. So we have a nice place to write our greeting. And I'm just going to pop this on the inside of the card with some Tombow, like so. Just trying to match my borders as best I can. Love how that white pops on the red. Now, this one here, there's a little bit of warpage from um, all the embossing. So I'm not gonna put this on dimensionals. I'm going to put lots of glue on the back and glue this part flat. And there we have red on red. Now it's crooked. Let's see if we can get that straightened out. Wasn't very smart. I'm going to turn this over and give it a little back rub. Give that Tombow a minute to set up. Just like so. Now, we should have some ribbon. Let me grab my red ribbon. And we will see... Actually, you know, we might do white for this one. This may be a perfect opportunity. I don't know why we have purple in with white, but it, pardon me, anyway. How about this one? That one could be pretty. Let's try that move these ribbons out of the way. I'm thinking, actually, let's put our tag on first and then decide. I just stamped Have a Holly Jolly Christmas on basic white and then I cut it out with the layering ovals and I did a real red mat. To coordinate. I'll grab a couple of dimensionals here and pop this on the front of our card. How cute is that? All right, now I think we need to add a bow. So I'll pull in my bow maker. I think I might make this one a substantial bow because we want that sparkle. It's all about the sparkle with this ribbon. Let's see 
if I can get that centered. There we go. Oh, is that ever pretty? Check that out. All right, some ribbon scissors. And it's time for a glue dot. This card is really, really simple, but it's really pretty. And I'm just going to tag that right down here underneath. Like so. I think I'm going to have to give this tail a little attitude adjustment. It has a mind of its own. There we go. Maybe better do the other one too. There we go. And trim the tails and we're golden. Now we need to up that sparkle just a wee little bit more. So I'm going to bring in some rhinestones and do just that. I'll put one right there. Well, maybe one here. <laughs> one right there. And heavens to Murgatroyd, I'm going to chase that around. And how about one over here? right there. Look at that sparkle. Isn't that pretty? And then inside we have a really nice place to write our greeting. That, my friends, is card number one. All right. Let's clean up our mess and go on to card number two. Alright, for this one, I've chosen a color I rarely use. I've chosen Garden Green for my card base. And I have got a, just a basic white liner once again to put on the inside. There we go. Now on the outside, I am going to cut this down and I'm going to have a mat of white. Actually, I might have a mat of red. I have red here. I think red might make it pop a little more. Oh yes, it will. All right, so now I need to find my paper trimmer that I've just buried here under all my stuff. <laughs> all right, so this piece is four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to cut this down to three and three quarters by five. So then this one will become four by five and a quarter. There we go. Now we can layer it up. This is going to go flat on here like so. Man, I love this stamp. It just makes me smile. Alright. We'll get that matted. 
And this one here is going to go right flat on this one as well. Put the dimension in our tag. I'm hesitating here for a moment. I just want to think this through. I think I want to put some ribbon on here. And I think I want to use red this time. So I'm just going to eyeball this. Had the glue on here before I thought my plan through. Almost too late, but not quite. All right. So now I'll get some ribbon scissors and we're going to tie just a little knot here in the middle. adds a little more to the front of this card. Now we're going to grab our greeting and this one I stamped in garden green and this one says jingle all the way. And we're going to grab some dimensionals. And we're going to pop this right here in the center. Jingle all the way. Now I wonder if I can use this little strip to embellish the inside. I wonder if it's long enough. Not quite. Darn it. And it would look funny if I did it across the bottom. That's okay. Next time. All right, we're going to grab some more of those rhinestones. I just had one fall off. It doesn't have any dot on the back of it. Hmm. All right. I'm going to grab a different tool. I'm going to grab this one. And we are going to Zaza zoo this up a little bit. Hmm. How about we put one right there? Oops. Well, I've managed to get it stuck to my finger. <laughs> get off. All right, let's start again. There's a little oops there. I think I might put five on this one. Um, one here. And one down here. There we go. Isn't that cute? Very simple cards tonight, but very, very cute. I'm going to bring the other one back in so we can see them both together. Love them love them love them all right that's it for tonight my friends see you again soon bye bye